Hello friends, this video on Ray Optics Part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the previous videos before going ahead with this part. Now we will look at certain terminologies, certain terms related to spherical mirrors. There are certain specific standard terminologies related to spherical mirror. What are they? Pole. What do we mean by pole of a spherical mirror? So what is pole of a spherical mirror? Pole is nothing but the center of the spherical mirror. What do I mean by the center of the spherical mirror? For example, let us suppose this is my concave mirror and this is my convex mirror. So what is the pole? Pole is nothing but the center of this mirror. The center of this mirror. So this is my pole. So this point is known as the pole of the spherical mirror that is the center of the reflecting surface because this is my reflecting surface. So the center of the reflecting surface is termed as pole. So it is generally denoted by a capital P. Then we have center of curvature. What is center of curvature? Center of curvature would mean the center of the sphere of which this mirror is a part. For example, this mirror, as I told you in the previous slide, that this concave mirror or convex mirror is nothing but a portion cut from a sphere. Right? So if you imagine a sphere, you cut it and you get a concave mirror or you get a convex mirror. So that sphere will also have a center, right? So that center of that sphere from which this mirror has been obtained is known as the center of curvature. So it is the center of the sphere of which the mirror is a part. So in this case, what would be the center of curvature for this concave mirror? This is the sphere, right? From which the mirror has been cut. So that means somewhere here. So this point is known as the center of curvature. Similarly, in case of convex mirror, it is a part of sphere like this. So the center of the sphere would be somewhere here. So center of curvature is denoted by capital C. Next we have radius of curvature. So whenever it is center of curvature, radius of curvature, it is talking about the center of the sphere. Similarly, now it is talking about the radius of the sphere of which the mirror is a part. So that means the radius of the sphere. So this is the radius of the sphere. Right? Similarly, this is the radius of the sphere. So this is known as radius of curvature. This is also known as radius of curvature. Next is principal axis. What is principal axis of a spherical mirror? It is the line joining the pole with the center of curvature. So that means this line. So you can say that this line is radius of curvature, right? Not only this line is the radius of curvature, radius of curvature can be anything. This can also be the radius of curvature. This can also be the radius of curvature, right? But the line which passes through the pole and the center of curvature, this line is known as the principal axis. So this line is known as principal axis, the line which passes through the pole as well as the center of curvature. So that straight line is the principal axis. So please remember and get very much used to with these terminologies because we will be using them again and again as we go ahead. And without a clear understanding of these terms, it is not possible to understand image formation by a spherical mirror. So the next thing is the principal focus. Principal focus is a very important term and it has a very crucial role to play in case of spherical mirrors. So what is a principal focus? So we talked about principal axis, right? So principal axis was the line which passes through the pole as well as the center of curvature of the spherical mirror. So principal focus is a point on principal axis. That is why it is known as principal. So that is why it has the pr word principal. Because it lies on the principal axis where the rays of light incident on the mirror parallel to the principal axis converge or appear to converge. Looks complicated, right? But it is not actually. It says that this principal focus is a point on the principal axis. Okay. What happens at that point? Any ray of light which falls on the mirror which is parallel to the principal axis 
After reflection, they will either converge at that point or they will appear to converge at that point. Then that point is known as principal focus. For example, let us consider the concave mirror first. In case of concave mirror, what is your, where is the pole? This is my concave mirror. This is the pole. Right? Let us suppose this is my center of curvature. Right? Now what is this line? which passes through the center of curvature and the pole. This is nothing but the principal axis, right? Now let us suppose these are the rays of light which are parallel, which are incident on the mirror parallel to the principal axis, right? These rays of light are parallel to the principal axis. Now after reflection, all the rays, they all converge at a point, right? And this point also lies on the principal axis. So both the conditions are satisfied. Principal focus should lie on principal axis and principal focus should be the point where the rays of light which are parallel to the principal axis after reflection should meet. So that means this point is your principal focus. So generally principal focus is also sometimes called as focus and it is denoted by a capital F. So this is known as principal focus of a concave mirror. Now what happens in case of a convex mirror? In convex mirror, the rays of light which are parallel to the principal axis, this is the principal axis. So the rays of light parallel to the principal axis, after reflection they all get diverged. So they do not converge actually. But if you virtually extrapolate these rays, you see that they appear to converge at a point. But this conversion is a virtual conversion, right? Because they are not actually converging, but they appear to converge. So this point is known as the principal focus for a convex mirror. So that means in case of a concave mirror, principal focus is the point where the rays of light actually converge. But in case of a convex mirror, principal focus is the point where the rays of light appear to converge. They do not actually converge. Right? So you understood what is principal focus and what is the principal focus in case of a concave mirror and in case of a convex mirror. See, these are all very basic things, but they will play a very crucial role as we go ahead. So if things are not clear to you at this very point, you go through the slides again and get them clarified before you go ahead. Right? Because principal focus is a very important concept. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.